All right, so becoming familiar with the areas. What I mean by that is, let's say you've kind of narrowed it down to at least a couple subdivisions, a couple places that you really like. What you're going to want to do is get familiar with the flow of traffic. Uh, get used to how traffic is during those busy hours, you know, 8, 9 in the morning, lunchtime, 5 p.m. See how it is when you're actually going to live in the home, when you drive out. Is traffic just chaotic? Do you, is it every day that you find yourself, you know, back, you know, bumper to bumper, you know, 30 minutes of just sitting there idleness because some of the roads aren't, you know, uh, conducive to a nice flow through a traffic? Or do they plan on upgrading the roads? Or... Uh, is it completely empty and you can get from where you need to go straight to, to where you want to be right away? Just know that if you're going to be in a desirable area, traffic's probably going to be a little bit busy because there's a lot of people that want to be there and most cities don't have it completely set up to get a nice flow of traffic there unless you're in like some big master plan. But if you're in an area that's basically kind of growing uh, and you had a new influx of people, you're going to find that subdivisions are all over the place and everybody's kind of going through back roads to get the main roads and it gets a little hectic. So pay attention to those things, get really familiar with the area. If that doesn't bother you, then that's great. If it does bother you, that's something you might want to pay attention to before you go and buy a house there, then you have to deal with that every single day. But if you absolutely love the house in the neighborhood, then it might be worth it because you might work from home a lot. You might not have to travel through the, tra uh, the traffic. You might notice that between the times of 9 through 11 o'clock, it's completely empty. Or, you know, 1 through 4 o'clock, it's completely empty. So you just base your schedule around when it's available. So I just want to reference that to you. You want to, you want to point out the things that are important to you. You know, is shopping important to you? Is your work commute? Is your kids, kids daycare, uh, school, uh, uh, boarding uh, facilities for your animals? Whatever it is that's important to you, you want to start jotting those down and see how easy it is to get to those things and start visualizing if you can picture yourself there every single day. So that's all I got for you for getting familiar with the areas. The next one is to set a plan.